Oh, hold on. They just scored! Portugal! By the end of the game, Spain and Portugal had combined for six. Six goals. Each and every one better than the previous, leaving fans excited for what else this World Cup might bring. True patriotism, true excitement in a, in a real sport. No politics. I never played soccer. Never really liked soccer. I've kind of migrated to soccer because of what's going on and everything else we seem to watch. Fans at Freetail Brewery believe the World Cup and 2026 bid could also be good ways to grow the sport here in the States. Though they admit there are challenges. One of those, the I believe that we will win chants have fallen silent. And it's no secret the USA did not qualify for the World Cup and fans here are choosing to handle that disappointment in their own way. Even the fact that we didn't even make the World Cup and we're sending three and a half million people overseas to watch it, number two according to Russia, I mean, that's uh, big. Uh, we want to grow the popularity here in the United States and you can definitely feel it watching this because you know, it's a Friday, people are still at work and people are still here to show up and watch the game. While some are optimistic, others refuse to acknowledge reality. U.S. isn't in it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They're still going to win, I think. Uh, it, it's, it's not the same, but it's still exciting. And uh, to see the different... Uh, countries and the cultures and, and the struggles they, they had to get there. And, and if you're Mark Roberts, you just focus on who might be this year's champ. Roberts knows it's only day two and there's lots of football to be played, but he's picked a few favorites. I'm rooting for Germany and Brazil and my bet on Spain. So I actually have money riding on Spain, so I, I would pick them. Bill Barajas, KSAT 12 News.